You can let the Shadow Man join in and hit that check good too. Maybe you can suck on one of his tentacles, pretend he's Squidward. Oh, that would go so hard, dude. My clarinet would be ooze and C notes. <laughs> Hello, you absolutely beautiful, breathtaking people. My god, you're looking absolutely scrumped in a Liam. Just a day, Giga Chads. And welcome back to another tier list of video. In this video, I'm going to be ranking every single Call of Duty Zombies map in the entire franchise's complete history based on which map would be the best place to get that sloppy toppy gok gok luigi's mansion vacuum suckathon cuckatron 3000 hey yo which cuts on his best to get head on you know damn Good. son where'd you find this an important question i'm sure a grand total of zero people have asked correct but i was up late last night thinking about it pondering like a like a grand philosophy and then my dick bent backwards like a giraffe neck and spoke to me and said yeah you should probably do it man and then the dmt wore off and i said <laughs> I hope you guys are having a fantastic day, gamers. Now, with that out of the way, let us break into these tiers. Like, let us crack into these tiers, just like we should be cracking over the cold Budweiser with the boys on a Friday night. This um, very bottom tier, bottom of the list, small of the Papa Smurfs pubic hair. We got the Jaws job, and this is based on the shark jaws with all the teeth, you know? The last thing you want are a thousand little teeth spiking into your penis. Like, you have Vladimir the Impaler returning as the form of the glacier white fucking spikes of a teeth. It's absolutely abhorrent. Now, thankfully, I've never had this happen to me. Stop the cap! We have that dun 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 from how done your dick is from this blowjob. It's absolutely abhorrently ass. Next, we have the flaccid first aid. Hey, yep. you know, you're gonna be able to, you're gonna need a hot nurse with some big thickums dice rolls tied to her titty holes to even have a chance at coming back from this. It's gonna be leaving your boner and needing some desperate first aid, which hopefully is uh, one of your one of your homies giving you the hug uh hug gawk gawk 3000 next you got the broken boner boy this this is gonna leave your dick broken like squidward on that one episode where he breaks every bone in his body like he's joe by and just fucking explodes one off the cliff <laughs> You're going to need desperate care and attention here in this tier. It's just not a good spot. Next, you got mid job. You know, these Bro. are just the mid rolls of the map. You know, there's nothing too bad about them to say. They just could have been a lot better. Next, we have phenomenal Correct. penis pinching. If you rank on this tier, you're a map that is phenomenal of the lip grip around your dick. We're going like a cock crane that never lets go. Absolutely beautiful. You de you're deserving of the best cock to a game of all time. No. Bro. You have Giga Chad Gooch hey, Gopers. Yep. If you're right here, you're just an absolute Chad map where you have a lot to offer in terms of the sloppy toppy head shed cheddar cheese on the cock game. Feeling absolutely beautiful. You've been sucking on the deck more than Squidward Tentacles has sucked on his clarinet to try to get good, but still sounds like Helen Keller playing Dance Dance Revolution in the other room every time he plays a goddamn. Next, you got the Gummy Guzzler. This map is so good that and no matter what happens, it's just going to feel like you're getting a gum job from an 85-year-old grandma. No teeth whatsoever. Feeling absolutely beautiful. Like Master Uglay's dried-ass turtle lips. Absolutely beautiful. Oh, and at the top, tippity top, tip of the penis tier, perhaps even, we have the Gok Gok Ultra Suckathon 3000, the pack of orange version of Luigi's Vacuum, going absolutely fucking sicko mode with a 10 inch chode, going absolutely crazy on the tears. Gok Gok 3000. That taught me the technique on my stomach. Ever since then, I've been a glizzy tizzy champion. But that being said, we have the tears set to go. Let's do Nocturne Totem, baby. Nocturne Totem, it's a little foggy, yeah, but it is nice. Nighttime, which is usually good for a blowjob because it's hey, dark yep. outside and you're trying to you're kind of more tucked away from the world people are less likely to interrupt you at night i find what do you mean by that you have a little bit more privacy and privacy is always good but there's so many little crevices people could walk in on and there's so many rooms and you're probably it'd be pretty quite cold in that damn bunker i already know damn well your bonus is going to be looking like jack frost's nose with a little icicle coming out of it like a bit of pre-com in that nostril so it might be a little bit difficult honestly i don't see not going very good high although the fog would be nice you could kind of like take off and hide in the fog like you're a fucking steven king creature trying to get your pleasure on from the sucky sucky mcfucky burger of a vacuum i think we'd have to put it in broken blowy uh the rock is act this is our first gawk 3000 for a rock this is the highest rock is gonna go and one reason you already know those insane asylum patients give that insane doug dimadones dimsdale dome sandy in the tree dome gawk 3000 ultra suck a fire like a pacifier absolutely crazy and lazy ass blowjob it's gonna suck you dry do you feel like you just t drop 10 pounds of weed and suck you dry like a heroin needle god damn you already know those insane asylum patients go buck wild on that boner oh i don't know if that makes sense no 
generous to Varuk, but I honestly feel like that Insano... <laughs> I feel like that Arkham Asylum Joker dome will go nuts. <laughs> kind of like how he is. Uh, Shino Numa, I mean, there's... You could kind of, like, ramp up on the zip line and get something to go up and down to go, like, a nice breeze on two of you. I feel like just because of that, it's gonna go mid jaw. And Doris is actually going to go into Giga Chad Gooch Gulpers as well, because you can get teleporting fellatio. You can get head while you're fucking teleporting around like Mewtwo, spawning in over and over again like Jesus Christ, if every day of the year was Easter, god damn, it'll go absolutely crazy. You could be leaving buckets of pre come over and over every single teleport. You could just teleport it away. It could just be absolutely crazy. Plus the catwalk, if you have a giant like five meter sausage, it'd be enough. You know, you'd be like having an anaconda spread out all over the place. So that catwalk would also be good for those with the mega milky boner. I can't atone is actually going to go right in front of her up because you could right in front of her up because you could actually watch a movie. You can pretty much Netflix and chill on Kingdom Tone. Yeah, you could just be kind of getting sloppy toppy on Kingdom Tone while you're watching Red One, but nobody's watching Red Ones. <laughs> anyway, so you'd be able to just practice and focus on that beautiful succulent sloppy you're receiving on that fine diddly damn day, like Ned Flanders committing his first sin of all time. I could have my Gucci all. Oh. And go getting head in the Pentagon goes equally as hard, honestly, so it's going to go right in front of Kandertone as well, especially if it's JFK cutting your cough. Oh, we have a top tier just for five, it's the JFK blowjob. Uh, only JFK exists on the map, so yeah. The five is, no there's nothing that's surprising. Five thinking an absolute fat, succulent tongue punched on your prostate by Mr. That's the ultimate fucking honor, as Taki would say. Oh, no, oh, no, oh, no. Ascension, I mean, it'd be kind of annoying if you're like, by the rocket, you were, let's say you were hiding under the rocket because you wanted aura vibe blowjob points or something. Next thing you know, the rocket took off and you look like the chocolate lady from SpongeBob. That's not chocolate since fucking George Bush was president, you know, more withered than the withered Foxy's fat cock hiding underneath the rocket. You're cooked, literally, you're cooked. But on the other hand, you know, you could fly around the Lunar Landers. I get blowjob on the Lunar Land is avoiding all the zombies and everything there, so that would be pretty fucking interesting as well. And you could have you could you could have them buy speed calls. Won't go. Oh, that's not be absolutely beautiful. I'm gonna put. I think I'm gonna put Doris. Uh, I'm gonna, what do you mean? I'm gonna, I'm gonna put a right above Doris because I feel like uh, flying around the Lunar Landers would be slightly more enjoyable than teleporting. And then it's just it, it has to go at the Jaws job because I already know damn well it's too frigid and her dick is gonna become an icicle and they're gonna go to fucking blowy your showy and it's just gonna break apart like a cartoon character when they turn to fucking stone and crumble into themselves when you tap them too hard like god giggity 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 diggity damn you're dead son sorry jaw sorry call the dead but it's the jaws tear for you don't cry about it come about it penis in paradise penis in paradise Blow. Doris is uh shanker was going to go in gummy guzzler because that view that scenic absolute excellent view you could get watch they're giving you Doug's Dimmerdale home dome slow boom all over the fucking place. Yeah. Sucking your shit up like Thomas the Tank Engine. Feeling absolutely beautiful outside. You know, you get the awesome, amazing, intense view to look at of that sunrise. The waterfall trickling. You can hear the waterfall. While you also feel them fondling your balls. It's just an absolutely beautiful time all around. And I believe Shangri-La deserves to go in Gummy Guzzle as well. Not quite as good as Netflix and chill, and not quite as good as the Joker giving you a moon boot butt job, but hey, still pretty good. Getting a blowjob on the moon just goes incredibly hard. It's going to go right in front of Candleton. Listen, if you could just float, if you could float together, right? You just take off like zero gravity kicks and you're just floating. Hey, at least you can get your, your clarinet played one last time, as Squidward would say, you know? I just think it would go insanely fucking hard. Blowies on the moon are not just for showy. They are an extreme, like, I would watch that if it was a sport, honestly. Blowjobs on the moon, sign of the fuck up. Transit, okay. I feel like Transit's not very good either because Ted's gonna be looking into you with his, his roboticized, lifeless, soulless, demon ass robot eyes. Like the judgmental father that secretly wants to join in. You know, it's gonna be pretty fucking horrifying when you gotta have Ted dealing with your ass. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna rate Transit as just the bus. I feel like the power station would also be ass too. I mean, if you're freaky deaky, maybe you want a, a fentanyl denizen to join in with its fucking man bear pig ass head that looks like it was born before it could be aborted, unfortunately. I'll put in phenomenal penis pinching, actually. Maybe Ted can join in. I learned from a father-son bonding time experience that bus stations do not, do absolutely not equate to a good spot for blowjobs. Flaccid first date. 
The farming fellatio would go hard, though. You know, flaccid farm, I would go absolutely crazy. My cock would be out with the hens if you catch my drink. I feel like farm would be pretty good. Being on the countryside, waking up, getting a fat, sloppy, toppy, slushy, gushy right in the morning before you do your duties would be an absolute beautiful wonderful life to live that i would definitely not mind living at all honestly being on farm would be beautiful it's gonna go rip a hundred and grow you know i feel like town is just the most vanilla location to get a blow job on you know it's literally just a town mid job and new town is a town that has been nuked so you get more aura points because you might grow a second dick with eyes on it due to radiation so that's gonna go right above normal town what Oh, uh, China kind of scares me. I'm just going to put it right behind transit. I feel like Mob of the Dead has to go high tier, right? Because, like, you might be... If you're good enough in the shower, you might be able to join on the Human Centipede Suckatron 3000 Marathon. And BBC Bubba might show you his thong if you're good enough that day. And he might reward you with some... By licking your ice cream cone like it's the last carrot Bugs Bunny you'll ever see. So, honestly, Mob of the Dead is going to go right above a rux. The only reason it's not going at the top of this tier is because it always might not be what you want. <laughs> Uh, blowjobs underground Bl buried blowjobs underground do i have to say anymore i don't believe i have to say anymore i'm just gonna plop it right behind moon buried blowjob because it's, it's a very secluded you can be as loud as you want you might be able to have like 15 quintillions start making a, a video and you're like why the hell am i making this video but then you kind of laugh at that thought and then you're like oh that's why i made the video because that's just what happened to me i could i said this list for like a minute and it was just like what the hell <laughs> <laughs> it's became self-aware for like two seconds now i don't know about you guys but if you wanted to like get nasty and freaky some music is always you know beneficial sometimes i find it helps set the mood and if you were on origins you could grab those discs from those records or whatever the fuck they're called from the tunnels and you could grab the gramophone you could set the mood with the uh, mongolian bugs bunny big dick fart singing that is played every time you open up a gateway to a garthian gussy holes also known as the crazy plays and I don't know about you guys, but you know, Mangolian fart fucking music isn't exactly my cup of tea, but it certainly beats no music. So because of that, Origins will go right above transit. What? What? <laughs> We're gonna treat this like it's McDonald's. <laughs> Mayor McCheese gave me a fucking blowjob in the bathroom, and I still piss and mustard sometimes when I, have, when I go a little too hard. So yeah, fuck that little bastard. I don't know these maps, but they're from Advanced Warfare, so... Honestly, they can't be. Or wait, isn't Descent on a boat? Descent is like a boat, like far away from people. I'll put it actually in Giga Chad, Gooch Gulper. An outbreak is just a normal facility. I'll put it right behind Dyra's. Shadows of Evil, like, you, we, we gave Origins Aura and bonus points because it has the music in the background. I feel like Shadows of Evil, in my mind, when I think of Shadows of Evil, I think of the classical jazz, y'all. Elvis Presley pressing his big gooch against your face like you're, you're his asshole pillow at that night. So that's pretty interesting. So I think Shadows of Evil is going to get a little bit of a boner bonus points on this one, Chief. And we're going to have to elevate its beautiful status up to above farm, but not quite in front of Shangola. Because if yeah, I'm getting dull, I'm going to be bobbing the head back from like fucking classical music and shit, you know, like that. I'm going I'm to be playing blowjob here like it's Fortnite Festival and I'm going to be going absolutely slamming the damn hams of justice all over the place with that grip. I'm going to be gripping it like I'm a football player trying to get the final touchdown of the Super Bowl. God damn! Gummy guzzlers. The giant. The giant is like durries, but there's snow. And I feel like this coldness will make it a little bit colder. I'll put it right behind normal durries. Under I should drag. I mean, the dragon could watch as well. Plus you could, the rocket test facility and you could also teleport on this map. But there's not as many tell oh zero what am i thinking zero gravity bullet jobs you could like help the on the platform and get in one there yeah zero gravity bullet jobs that go hard you can fucking jump around like your mega man with a jetpack inside of your rectum hole i'm gonna put it right behind farm shima is just kind of green i mean the lab could be cool as well i mean if you really really like plants and you would want to fuck the plant too that could also be used hey, in yeah. a dire situation but i'm just gonna put it right in front of shino numa because like they're the same thing, but Zetsubo is just better. Hot take, but Zetsubo just offers more, honestly. Now, go at Crow, you can, get, you can get sucked while you're flying a fucking dragon. But if you're not careful, those dragons could also burn your dick and make it look like a mangled corpse of a s'more that you failed to make while you're too busy butt chugging Buzzweiser. Step, bro, so that could also be depressing. But I feel like the thought of going up and getting gawky gawky flucky flucky for a solid like couple of minutes before you land would go hard. It'd be like if Todd Howard was flying his personal dragon jet from selling five billion copies of Skyrim last month and it was being like transferred into a being of you getting blowies from it from riding a fucking dragon. What, bro, what are you talking about, man? I feel like Revelations is just gonna go at the bottom of top tier because Verrucked. Tino, 
and mob of the dead are all in it and they're all top tier so actually no it has all of those things in it so it's going to go above them because it's like you can choose what you want to do well you definitely have a lot of options on revelations you're never going to get burnt out or bored of any of your present options so i honestly feel like yeah it's going to go that high let's go plus you can have you can let the shadow man join in and hit that check gussy too maybe you can suck on one of his tentacles pretend he's squidward oh that would go so hard dude my clarinet would be ooze and c notes <laughs> now zombies in space land i feel like you'd have to duck into the bathroom duck for cover and you know i don't think a theme park is good maybe maybe if they're pretty small you could get them to just fucking when you're on the roller coaster you know they could use their mouth to blow you like a harmonica's hemp pole but I don't know if it would be the best, honestly. I just, I feel like I would feel too, I'd be having too much fun doing other shit on this map to even consider blowies for the time. I'm just going to put it in the middle of mid jaw. Now, Raven the Road is a raven. I feel like messed up bitches would be giving you some wiggity wiggity whack crack shack dome levels of type beats. So, honestly, I feel like Raven the Redwoods would be pretty damn special for that. Especially if you yourself are participating in the rave and your body feels like 1700 swarms of ants at once. Like, that'd be absolutely absurd. That dome game better be wiggity wiggity beautiful. I'll put it, I'll put it, I'll put it right in front of Ascension. Giga Chad Gooch Gulper, Shallow Shuffle. A ninja zombie would go to join in and he'd kick your balls and they would burst like water balloons or pops from regular show. Bottom tier, fuck that bullshit. Hmm, but what was at the beach would go hard, especially if it was like midnight and then you went to the beach and you know, it's just you you two were the only people there. It would go absolutely beautiful. You just had to bring a blanket though because sand in your sphincter hole would actually be absolutely beautiful. So that will be it. You know, the last thing you want to do when you're clenching your cheeks to bust would be feel some grains of sand in there trying to escape like the prisoners in the basement at Jeffrey Dahmer's show. So that'd be pretty fucking abhorrent. So honestly, I'm going to put Attack of the Radioactive thing right in front of Transit because I feel like the sand would be kind of a pain in the day cold, quite literally, if you're not careful. The Beast from Beyond can go shit on the tightest asshole on the planet. The planet, though, you could kind of float around. I just don't really know the map. I'll put it right behind town. I feel like all the WW2 maps are a little bit too serious and foreboding. That'd be a good place for that. Like, I don't think any boners are finishing their come task today on any of these maps. So, honestly. Well, actually, you know, the Frozen Dawn, the Fro uh, the, the God King reminds me of Joe Biden, which would make me bust a bucket in about 10 nanoseconds. So, I'm going to put it right in front of Attack of the Radioactive thing. Hell yeah. Biden makes me bust. Titanic before. You know, it hit that iceberg, which was pretty much the, the, that boat's version of the towers. It would be pretty interesting because you'd have all this beautiful scenery and the view of the endless ocean if you look out the window of your cabin for that night. And I feel like that would add aura to the blowjob. It'll just make it feel a lot better. So I'm actually going to put it pretty high. I'm going to put it right in front of farm, but it wouldn't have the jazz music that Shadows of Evil was have rambunctiously blasting all over the place. Like an endless fart of joy that never ends. So yeah, I'm gonna put it. Yeah, right. uh, I feel like a marauder would come circumcise you 20 years too late if you got caught lacking on Blow. nine mid blowies. So it's gonna go right behind Buzz Depot. Blow drops and hell would go hard. Like I said for the JO video, you don't really have to worry about going to hell if you're already there. So you can kind of just go to fucking town to do with endlessly if purgatory was endless penis blowjobs. I'd be a okay with it. Right behind, right in front of the descent. Actually. Five is going to go behind, or Classified is going to go on Moon because J JFK is not on Classified. That's like kind of how it looks. It looks like, a like it's attached to like a fucking sis. Dead of Night, I mean, Matt, Alistair South is so fucking massive, like the side of Lizzo's ass cracks. I mean, Dead of Night is absolutely massive and large, like the left side of Lizzo's ass crack. So it's absolutely beautiful. I feel like you could find a way to scurry off to, like you're trying to get a secretive kill at Among Us. You're trying to get a secretive blowy in real life. So I feel like it would work pretty well. But it's also very crowded, so if we're going for the giant, the scale of the party, I'll put it at the top of mid jobs, you know? Ancient Evil, I mean, listen, you could have Medusa turn you into stone just by looking at you, I mean, I could just look at her from behind and I'll be turning into a 10-foot Squidward stone statue, like Scoyam Fanty Sun's eyebrow in width and length, god damn. I'd be going absolutely bricked up brotato mode on that hoe. Plus, you can, jet, you can, you can bust in the Temple of Apollo. You can ride Pegasus while it ride. Okay, um, I'm just gonna put it at the top of. You could, I'm actually gonna put it right behind Shank Girl. Actually, I'm going to put it above Gerard Crowley because the, the more I think of it, the more of a beautiful spot it would be to receive some Peggy. I mean, bullshit. 
No way, that's a, that's a great cure list I can do. I thought Mega Overall was go bottom tier because I would rather shit buckets of broken glass and eat them and shit them out again than ever replay that map. Two, I'm gonna do it one day for the Easter egg. Haha, -ha, I walked by life. Code, where did I put Call of the Dead? It, it's going to go way above Call of the Dead because that beautiful sunset is just romantic. The sunrise just looks absolutely beautiful and breathtaking. It is an absolute admirable view you get when you play Tower Tone. Every time I load up Tower Tone, I'm like, holy shit, I didn't know Black Ops 4 could actually look this beautiful. It's still got nothing of the absolute beauty of you busting bussy kings watching right now, but. Yeah, I'm gonna put it right above Origins, actually. Machine, oh, D machine. I don't really know how where to put this because I mean it's just kind of like a snow facility. It's like Call of the Dead with Noct in it. Where did I put Noct? But there's also the secret laboratory. I'm gonna put it right below Day of the Night. Now Firebase Z is interesting because it's not interesting at all. Actually, I'm not even gonna fucking lie to you guys. I'm just gonna put it right behind Noct. Outbreak is massive. There's definitely a place in the field you can frolic to to get your bussy blasted. I'm gonna put it behind ascension but not quite behind a re actually no you can't teleport on this map and you're not in hell i put it right behind blood oh uh, you can program klaus you could put like a pair of gums in klaus and program him to slop the top like a giat glopper for 500 billion eons so endless head fucking endless double xp blowjob weekend so i'm gonna put him right in front of the rising drop uh forsaken yeah you got that one fucking right i can't remember anything about this map except it added phd i'm just gonna put it behind not uh, listen you could put get, you could put your airpods in and you could listen to gabriel craft talk dirty to you while somebody's blowing your buffalo bill boner biscuit so that would be absolutely fucking beautiful and if i listen to Gab gabriel craft for 0 0.1 seconds, the bucket's getting full immediately above the other night. Tantalize the Magician Taint Ass is just so mid. I'm putting it bottom. I'm putting all of the Vanguard maps bottom. Terminus? I mean, you could go on that magical, mystical, beautiful boat ride. But next thing you know, you're going to have Tentacle Hentai Squidward's third leg cousin brother try to shit all over your tentacle holes with his fucking mystic puke World War II gas. So it's pretty it's pretty weird. But also, you could go underneath the sunken boat in that secluded area. And I don't feel like anyone would find you. You could be loud. You could be so fucking loud. You could wake up Anne Frank from the dead. Goddamn. I'm going to put Terminus actually at the top of Gigatai Gooch gear. Nobody follows just kind of the same as town as it is a town. But there's no lava, so I'm going to put it above the town and nuke town. And that brings us to the end of the video. This is the official ranking for what I think are the best Call of Duty Zombies maps. To let someone blow your balloon biscuit hole on. You know, lick that coxicle, if you will. That SpongeBob SquarePants lead pipe popsicle we all got down there. I hope you guys enjoy Spider-Man. Hope you guys enjoy Spider-Man. Like, comment, subscribe on the video. Oh, and I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. Say absolutely amazing, you amazing Alakazam Gucci guzzlers. I could have my Gucci on. Get out!